Lords of the Fallen is an upcoming action role-playing game and Souls-like in development by Hexworks, who are a subsidiary of CI Games, and one of the two developers of the original game of the same name released back in 2014, the other original developer being Deck 13. First let me start by saying that Lords of the Fallen should not be viewed as a remake, a remaster or anything of the sort. It is a completely separate game in so many ways and shares very few ties with the original other than the name. Curiously, this upcoming game was originally named THE Lords of the Fallen, which made it slightly easier to differentiate between the two. However, the first THE has seemingly been dropped as of a technical showcase last month, and now both games share the exact same name. More on the details of the technical showcase in a minute, I'll be doing a deep dive on everything that's been revealed for anyone who missed it. This video is primarily to share with you all the information that we have on Lords of the Fallen so far, as this is shaping up to be the next great Souls-like, and should satiate the gluttony for punishment that all of us Dark Souls and Elden Ring fans share. As you've seen throughout this teaser trailer, we can expect a dark and gritty world with terrifying monstrosities around every corner. I imagine this game will be akin to the more sinister themes and biomes of the Dark Souls world, and should really appease those among us who crave the gothic aesthetic. Now let's jump on over to the technical showcase of Lords of the Fallen and see what they have in store for us. The primary focus the developers have in mind for Lords of the Fallen is an immersive gameplay experience to really make you feel a part of this gritty world. And this technical showcase takes place at a location called Skyrest Bridge, which is one of the earliest locations in the game. Throughout the next few minutes, it will be demonstrated to us how the new Unreal Engine 5 technologies have helped to create an entirely new experience, which is hopefully far different and far superior from the Lords of the Fallen given to us back in 2014. One of the main aims is for players to feel fully immersed by allowing everyone to play as their own entirely unique character. With that in mind, a combination of technologies have been implemented to achieve this, including 3D scans of real people combined with something in UE5 called Zone Character Customization Technology. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know the specifics of some of the technologies talked about in the first part of this video, but it's hard to deny that it looks absolutely gorgeous and gets me very excited for the release later on this year. You can choose from a massive range of body types using this slider and all armor sets adapt to fit. And after this, you can then go on into very detailed and specific sliders for every single aspect of your character. And as you see here, as we start to zoom into this character's armor set, as the camera is panning up his tunic, you can see the detailed texturing that provides incredible levels of micro detail, whilst hopefully having a minimal impact on performance. We'll talk about performance more in just a second. Next up, we see a short demo of the UE5 Chaos Physics engine, which in their words, facilitates advanced simulations for clothes, chains, hair, belts, and a whole lot more. This makes characters' movement really flow and look so much more lifelike than ever before possible. Next up, we are shown the lighting and how it reacts with the world as the light moves over this awesome looking room that we're in. This is the only functionality that really gives me any concern for consoles, as a lot of people don't think that they'll be able to handle this new Lumen technology running smoothly at a solid 60 FPS, but high-end PCs should have no issues with it. However, Hexworks do state that they also make use of emissive shapes to add additional details to the lighting of any space, which can provide the world with additional levels of detail, whilst in theory, minimizing impact to performance. Next up, and something I am insanely excited about, is the ability to travel between the two worlds, Axiom, the realm of the living, and Umbral, the realm of the dead. Both worlds are crafted side by side so that you can fluidly switch between the two. This will make them feel intrinsically connected at all times, and as the developers put it, like two sides of the same coin, even if one side is decidedly more horrific than the other. That was everything revealed to us from the technical showcase, and Lords of the Fallen will be launching later this year on PC and current gen consoles, and I for one am insanely excited about it. Finally, for anyone who missed it a few months back, we will round up the video by playing the original official announcement trailer for, as it was known back then, The Lords of the Fallen. So, sit back and enjoy.
after an age of the cruelest tyranny, man finally defeated its overlord. But gods do not fall forever. The champions of war united and began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. For some forces, even death cannot end. But now, eons later, the fallen god's influence pervades the world again, corrupting even sworn enemies. Join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity to a new age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. That is everything I had to show you today. I hope this makes you as excited for the next great Souls like as I am. I look forward to playing this with you, hopefully in a few months time when we can finally get our hands on it. For now, all that is left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.